Today, we'll be servicing the carousel plate on this umbrella style tool changer. On this VF1, we've noticed some of the tools are loose in the carousel. This can lead to tools falling out during a tool change, as well as damaging your tools, parts, and spindle. During this process, we'll check and replace several components if necessary to ensure the system is in good working condition. You'll need the following tools to do this job. A bottle jack, wood blocks, a set of Allen keys, a ratchet set, portable work light, a long straight edge, and some grease. So let's get started. Remove all the tools from the carousel and note their location. Mark the carousel plate at pocket one to line up with the number ring during reinstall. With an Allen key or a ratchet set, remove the four fasteners from the number ring and remove the number ring. We are ready to remove the carousel plate, so crack the bolts loose, but don't remove them. Jog the table in the x-axis direction all the way to the left and the y-axis towards the back to position the jack in the center of the carousel plate. Place the jack on the wood blocks on the table close to the carousel. Once you have everything in position, extend the jack until it touches the carousel plate. We don't need to move the axes around at this point, so we'll power down the machine. Follow all the necessary safety precautions. Use a portable light when removing the six fasteners from the carousel plate and slowly lower the jack with the carousel plate on it. The plate is heavy, so take a moment to ask for help to lift if necessary. With the carousel plate on the workbench, we're going to remove all the components from both sides of the carousel plate. On the back side of the carousel plate, we'll take off the springs, the extractor fork, the extractor keys, the bushings, the washers, and the bolts. And on the front side of the carousel plate, we'll remove the slider panel covers, the compression springs, the rivets, and the sliding panels. Let's check it to make sure it's not bent or cracked. Use a long straight edge to check the plate in several areas. If the carousel plate is bent or damaged, it must be replaced. Clean the carousel plate, forks, and keys. Check to see if they are bent or have excessive wear. If the carousel plate, extractor forks, or keys are damaged, it's easy to order new ones at HaasParts.com. The parts go back on the same way we took them off. We'll start on the front side. Apply some mobile grease to the compression spring and insert the rivet in one end of the spring. Put the spring and rivet into the carousel plate slot. Install the sliding panel. The tab on the sliding panel must rest against the rivet when installed. Tighten all the fasteners and test the sliders several times, making sure it's not binding. Install the remaining slider assemblies. Flip the plate over to install the extractor fork assemblies. Apply some mobile grease, install the bushing into the extractor fork. Then place the extractor forks on top of the extractor key. Install the washers onto the fasteners with the rounded side against the extractor fork. Leave it loose until the spring is installed and then tighten the fasteners. Repeat these steps for the rest of the pockets. We are ready to reinstall the carousel plate assembly. Slowly raise the jack to get the carousel in place. Install the six fasteners and tighten them. Then install the number ring. Be sure to line up the marks made earlier at pocket one location. Power up the machine and home it out. Command a tool change and hit e-stop when the carousel is close to the spindle. Verify the alignment between the extractor key and the spindle drive dog. Load the tools back in the carousel as they were assigned. Command several tool changes to make sure everything works correctly. To order replacement parts for your carousel, click on HaasParts.com link at the end of the video. And don't forget to visit the DIY.HaasCNC.com for more information.
Thanks for watching.